In this video, we will find a uh, answer of a very important question, which is very important in subjective and objective reflection that why we prescribe maximum plus and minimum minus. My teachers and seniors always used to say that prescribe maximum plus and minimum minus while you are performing subjective or objective reflection. So what is the logic behind that? So to find out the answer of this question, you have a detailed explanation about the accommodation and you know that the accommodation is the increase in the power of the crystalline lens. And when a emetropic person or a normal person having visual acuity 6 by 6, if you look at the distance at infinity, his accommodation should be at rest. His crystalline lens should be flatter. Right? And if a normal person is looking at the near object, he will use the maximum accommodation. He will exert accommodation. So at distance, the accommodation should be at rest. Now let's find out the answer of this question that why we should prescribe maximum plus and minimum minus. But remember one thing, if I'm saying that maximum plus, it doesn't mean it, that if the required prescription is plus two and you will prescribe plus four, it doesn't mean that, right? You have to prescribe the full correction and that is plus two. If the requirement is plus two, then you have to prescribe the plus two spherical, right? And in the case of the minus, if the required prescription is minus 2 spherical, then you have to prescribe a little bit smaller prescription. Like if the required prescription is minus 2 spherical, then you have to prescribe minus 1.75. So what is the logic behind that? What is the reason behind that? Now let's discuss about it. Now suppose we have a hyperopic eye and you know that in the hyperopic eye, the light rays converge or focused behind the sensitive layer of the retina right so by putting these light rays on the sensitive layer of the retina we required the plus prescription because the property of the plus prescription is the property of the plus spherical correction is it converts the light rays suppose the best prescription of this patient is plus three spherical for example and we undercorrected him and we pre prescribed him plus two spherical. So these light rays which are converged extremely behind the retina by prescribing plus two spherical, they will converge nearest to the retina but not exactly on the sensitive layer of the retina. So due to the deficiency of the plus power, the lens will accommodate internally right the lens is here and it will accommodate of plus one spherical by increasing the power of the crystalline lens right so due to excess use of the accommodation the patient will feel the symptoms which are called the asthenopic symptoms and you know that the ACA ratio which is Suppose if I use, if I exert one diopter of accommodation, my eyes will get converged three prism diopters, right? So due to excess use of the accommodation, the chances of the convergent squint are always there. So that's why we have to prescribe the full correction of the plus prescription. Hope it's clear and now we will learn about the myopic eye. And now we have a myopic eye and you know that in myopia the light rays always focused in front of the retina so by putting these light rays on the sensitive layer of the retina here we required a lens a type of lens which can diverge the light rays so we required a minus spherical lens so suppose the best corrected prescription by putting these light rays on the sensitive la layer of the retina is minus 3 but by some reason due to some reason I prescribed him minus 3.50 I overcorrected this eye and by overcorrection of the minus power the light rays will diverge but it will cross the retina and diverge behind the retina here behind the sensitive layer of the retina because I used overcorrection of the 
minus a spherical power so by over correction of the minus it will exert accommodation because the light rays will focused behind the retina due to excess use of the minus spherical lens so again the eye will face the same problems and the over correction of the minus will exert accommodation and excess use of accommodation will cause the asthenopic symptoms so that's why we always use maximum plus and it means full correction of the plus and minimum minus in the subjective and objective refraction hope this is clear and if you want to learn more about the subjective refraction you can watch these videos